So Lucas has two different types of acrylic paint that come in bottles. You have this Lucas Krill Liquid, which we'll be focusing on today, and Lucas Krill Studio. Now, Lucas Krill Studio comes uh, in different sizes and is a medium viscosity paint. Um, it, it's a good artist quality paint. However, the Lucas Krill Liquid is actually the high end of Lucas. So if you think about the, the Lucas super high end, it comes in what is called Pastos, uh, but Pastos uh, by name indicates that it will be a thick viscosity. So rather than Lucas Pastos, this is Lucas Krill Liquid. This is the other end of the spectrum. So this is their super soft body. So it has a little bit more of a, a milky consistency. Both come in bottles like these. The Lucas uh, Krill Studio also comes in a larger bottle. Both are available in tubes. But today we're just gonna see just how much a Lucas Krill liquid bottle covers in terms of square footage. See just how liquid it is in viscosity to give you guys at home a chance to kind of see that and then see how it kind of pulls across a stretched canvas. So let's do that and uh, give it a try. So what I'd like to do today is basically, first of all, see just how liquid it is, what that looks like, uh, let you see at home kind of how it lays down, how it pulls out, and just how far we can cover uh, with one bottle, see how much it will cover. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be just using a primary magenta and uh, seeing how much you can cover and what it looks like. Okay, so quickly just what I'll be using to do this. We have, like I said, Lucas Krill Liquid. Um, primary magenta. Uh, I've got one of these large Pro Control uh, six inch brushes. This is just to give me maximum coverage. And this is a 36 by 48 uh, edge canvas that we'll be using as our surface. So uh, I'm just gonna shake this up. And the point of this is that you basically take some scissors and snip it and you can kind of just squirt right from the bottle as if it was like ketchup. Um, with a lower viscosity like the liquid, it probably won't uh, be like a drawing tool as much as it would if it had a little bit more thickness to it. But let's just pour some out because we're going to try to see how much coverage we get and take a look at how it lays down. All right, so I'm just going to pour some out right here. Okay, so that is... That's like a a heavy, heavy cream consistency to me. Yeah, and then yeah, once you get it going, you can see the like heavy cream. So I'm just gonna start pulling some of this paint out. Now this brush is dry. Um, there's no water on this brush. In fact, I'm gonna try my best to not have to wash the brush because I don't wanna add any water to this to further dilute it so we can get as close as possible to exactly how much coverage one bottle has. I don't know how much paint that was exactly. I think that there's still at least paint up to about here, um, just to give you an idea, okay? Let's take a look at that. Pulls out really smooth. That, that was really nice here. Just gonna pull it back this way. Look at that coverage, like really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> you can see for yourself how vibrant the color is, but I'm just trying to see if I can get an even coat. So we just weighed a full bottle and we weighed what we used. Um, we used 91 of the 250 milliliters of this bottle on this canvas. So um, I guess if we just do math, we can say that we could easily cover 
what, two and a half of these? Because we, we're also getting the edges. Um, so just because I don't want to... 2.75. 2.75, almost three full canvases um, from this one little bottle. And I mean, I wish, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you the measurements, but just, just to give you a visual to scale, I mean, this is three by four feet. Um, and we only use the fraction. That's, that's pretty incredible. Was not expecting that. So what we're going to do is, just because we have the materials, let's see how far let's see how far it will go. Let's paint another canvas, and I just want to actually see that um, all put together. Okay, so this time around, based on the measurements, we used 109 milliliters to cover this. So we were up 11 milliliters, which I think is a pretty reasonable percentage of discrepancy um, in terms of, you know, like looking at this canvas, I can see that there's some areas that I, I could have pulled out more or less, but it's, it's negligible. Um, but let's go ahead and just see how much more we can cover uh, on another one, because there's still a nice amount of paint in here. Um, should be about 50 milliliters left. Okay. Okay. So we have one last canvas again, 36 by 48 edge canvas, acrylic prime, medium texture. Um, this time I'm going to just see, I'm going to try to be as sparing as possible while still getting the most coverage. And there's 50 milliliters in here last time. And so far in terms of efficiency, 91 milliliters was what it took to cover the last one. So let's see how far we can get with these last um, 51 milliliters. So this is just 50 milliliters. So if that was 50 milliliters, it stands to reason that if you were as, I don't know, uh, generous or not generous as I was with the paint for this one, you could cover five 36 by 48 canvases. 
five. There's still more paint in here. I can feel it. It still has weight to it. Um, and I'm sure if I left this up for a while, you'd probably have a good maybe tablespoon worth of paint in there. But I think, I mean, as far as the, that goes, I can just keep splattering it. Without a doubt, you can cover easily three entire 38 by 48, uh, 36 by 48 canvases, which is really impressive for a, this is a professional grade of acrylic soft body paint for under $20 currently. Um, so yeah, that's, that's incredible. Really incredible. I'm really impressed. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, and uh, if you did, hope you subscribe to the channel. Um, ring the bell to be notified and like the video. Um, yeah, this is the Lucas Krill Liquid 250 milliliter bottle. Three 36 by 48 canvases. So thanks for watching.